Razer Synapse 4. This is the latest version uh, from Razer, which was released at the end of uh, 2023. I've used it uh, for about uh, one month and never had any issues with it. So I'm going to show you how it uh, looks and works with uh, a Razer Basilisk V3 mouse and the Razer Naga Hex V2. This is uh, a very old mouse from uh, 2015 and seems that Razer still supports this, uh, this mouse, which is great. So after you make the update, you can uh, launch Razer Synapse 4 from here, as uh, you did with uh, Synapse 3. And you will see this uh, main window. Here we have macro. I already made a video on how to create a macro and assign it uh, to your mouse. You can check that out. And also from the top tabs, you will see the connected devices. In this case, uh, Basilis V3. From the customized window, you, we can uh, just uh, reassign buttons. I already reassigned. For example, instead of back, I have the delete keyboard key. OK, from performance, these are the default uh, settings. 1800 dpi these are the other stages and the default pulling rate 1000 from lightning we can change the the color of the leds and also the effects in my case i keep in i keep it on breathing and the brightness And also from the calibration uh, tab, I've noticed that they've implemented smart tracking. And this is the default setting. Uh, usually you don't need to use this tab at all. If you have small, smart, uh, smart tracking, it will uh, work completely fine. So this is for Razer Basilisk V3. And now for Naga Hex V2, we have the same uh, interface from where we can uh, reassign the buttons and uh, also here for the ones from the side. From performance, the default uh, DPI 1800 and 1000 pulling rate. And the same as for Basilis, the lightning tab. We can select the uh, color and the lightning effect and the brightness. This mouse doesn't have smart tracking. However, you will see default enabled. And I've noticed that it works completely fine without doing anything from here. So if uh, for some reason you install or you just update from uh, Synapse 3 to Synapse 4 and your device is not recognized, uh, your keyboard or uh, Razer mouse, you can try to plug it back in. You need to try to plug it in on a USB 2.0 port. So you want to avoid those with uh, 3.0, the the USB ports with uh, the blue color and hopefully they will be recognized if uh, still doesn't work just uh, restart your computer and start again Synapse most likely you will see your device here at the top so this is how uh, Razer Synapse 4 works with uh, the Razer mouses uh, I hope that you found the video useful. If you did, please subscribe and thank you for watching.